You usually envision things like fondant flowers or other shapes. But did you know that you can use something more widely available? Fruit leathers, something you can find in your supermarket. In this video, I'll show you how to use fruit leathers to make a fun and festive cake with puffs and streamers. I call these little fruit leather flowers puffs, and they're one of the easiest flowers to make for your cake. First, start by unrolling fruit leather and peeling it off its plastic backing. Next, use a small circle cutter to cut out six rounds from your fruit leather. I find that about six circles make a really nice full puff. Peel away the excess fruit leather. You can snack on that later. To start my puff, I pick up a round. Using my fingers, I make a ruffled X shape with the round of fruit leather. Repeat this step with the remaining five circles. Once my ruffles are complete, I'll go about forming my puff. To begin, take two of your little ruffled X's and join them together at the points. If they're having trouble sticking, just brush on a little bit of water. I'll finish forming my puff on a piece of styrofoam and insert toothpicks if I need to prop the ruffles up at all so that they stay nice and full while the puff dries. The puffs will set up in a couple of hours, but ideally you want to leave them overnight so they get nice and firm. You can also use fruit leathers to make a garland for your cake. Here, I'm going to take two different colors and then I'll sandwich them together. I've put the sticky sides facing each other so that way they stay together. Next I'll use a ruler and a sharp knife to cut strips of the same width. Next I'll just trim the ends and pull away the little leftover pieces of fruit leather. To make a streamer, I'll take one of my strips and twist it to reveal both colors. You can pull the fruit leather a little bit just to stretch the streamer out. You don't have to let these dry the same way that you let the puffs dry because you want these to hang on the side of your cake. If you're working with a fondant finished cake, to apply the streamers, use a little dab of water or piping gel to make the streamers stick. Press the ends of the streamers onto the edge of the cake and then let the rest of the streamer hang down. Work your way around the edge of the cake until you've used all of your streamers. After you've placed your last streamer, now it's time to put on the puffs. Since the puffs are a little heavier, we'll use buttercream to attach them to the cake. You'll lift up the puff, place a little buttercream on the back, and then push the puff into place, right on the edge of the cake. I'll alternate around the cake red and yellow puffs. 